Independent Senator Paul Richards read excerpts from December 9th's Newsday article, which quoted opposition Senator Jolene John as describing the action taken by Independent Senator Dr. Maria Dillon Remy on Tuesday as a shame and disgrace. On Tuesday night, by a margin of just one vote, the Senate passed the Public Procurement and Disposal of Public Property Amendment Bill 2020. It was Dr. Remy's vote, along with the votes of government senators, which allowed for the bill to be passed by a simple majority of 16 votes. But the opposition senator's public ridicule of Dr. Remy's vote in favor of the government did not rest well with Senator Richards. During Thursday's Senate proceedings, Senator Richards moved a motion of privilege against Senator John. He reminded that independent senators, like himself and Senator Remy, have no political allegiance. On the onset section 42C of the Constitution of the Republic of Trinidad Tobago, the Constitution, it is very clear that nine members of the Senate, comprising the independent bench, are not chosen based on allegiance to any party, but based on their expertise and contribution to society. As independent senators, we are free to vote based on our conscience. We are not aligned to any political party. Senator Richards said independent senators are protected by parliamentary privilege. He added, Ms. John's statements, if found to be true, are an attack on Dr. Remy's character. This damage not only damages sorry, not only the independent bench, but also serves to bring the entire Senate into odium and disrepute. Such violation is strongly condemned and gives me no pleasure to raise this motion of privilege against Senator John. Based on the foregoing, if these purported statements and reflections are indeed true, I submit that the Senator has committed a contempt by breaching her privilege as a member of this esteemed Senate. Senate President Christine Kangaloo is expected to rule on the motion raised at the end of Thursday's sitting of the Upper House. Crystal Wilson, TTT News.